you're all staying safe out there. I managed to get a couple of masks from Amazon finally, so I can do some grocery shopping and I gave a couple to my parents. I attempted to shave my head again and this time I wanted to just do the sides and uh, leave the top to thicken up and I went back and looked and I was like, I better leave this for the professionals, it did not look good. So I went ahead and started shaving the top part of my head and realized I forgot the attachment. So now I had to do the whole head without the attachment and I have a bald head now, but well, it'll grow back. I want to point out that when I was diagnosed with HIV, my doctor told me that if I chose not to take treatment, my life expectancy would be from 2 to 10 years. Now, if I were to take treatment right away, which I did, my life expectancy would be pretty much normal. Now the question is, what happens if you stop taking your HIV medicine? I had some comments from people claiming that they were tired of taking it every day. Now, imagine if you are uh, undetectable, which means your viral load is between 0 and 50. If you decide to stop taking treatment, they say within a couple of weeks, your viral load will start to climb. Within a few months, your CD4 counts will start to lower. When this happens, you're at the risk of infection and illness. Also, as your viral load rebounds, you are at risk of transmitting the disease to others. After Charlie Sheen, was undetectable and he decided to go off his treatment and, and seek a cure down in Mexico. Now we know that there is no cure and he was on Dr. Oz uh, in an interview explaining this. He does not recommend anyone going off treatment. He is now on treatment and undetectable. But his viral load, when he went off, went up into the millions. So why do some people want to quit taking medications? Taking what they call a drug holiday which means that you just take a break from your medication is a very bad idea. Um, once you go back on, the treatment may not be as effective because the virus may develop a resistance to it. We know that people who are, suffer from depression have a higher risk of doing so. People experience side effects they no longer wish to experience. Um, others don't want to re be reminded every day when they have to take their medication of the disease. Others say that they don't want to take time out of their busy schedule to make up doctor's appointments and pick up prescriptions. To me, I feel it's a small price to pay to have a normal life expectancy. Others feel shame about the having the virus and they don't want to be people ever finding out they have it. Um, there are scammers out there um, that would love to prey on your fear and take your money. Please don't, don't fall victim to that. I found some scammers on my actual site in the comment section trying to lure people into their website or videos claiming they have the cure. So I ended up blocking them and, and deleting these links. We know there's no cure. If there was, we would know about it. The governments spend millions of dollars every year on this. I also look at it this way. Millions of people have died not having access to treatment. Still today, in third world countries, in the past when we didn't have any treatment for it, there are some notable entertainers, I want to name some. Rock Hudson at age 60, Freddie Mercury at 45, uh, Robert Reed at 60, and uh, Eazy E at 32. And I can go on and on. Having these life-saving treatments today and choosing not to, to access them to me, I feel like it's a disservice by choosing not to, and that's just my opinion. I would have to say my biggest fear is to get AIDS, but if I keep on my treatment and take my medicine, my medication as prescribed, I should never see this. So honestly, lately I have not been motivated to make any videos. I've been off for so many weeks due, due to the quarantine, and the weather has been pretty crappy, and I just wasn't in the mood. Today, thankfully I am, so I hope you're all staying safe out there. I work in the manufacturing industry and they're slowly ramping up so I'm hoping soon I will be back to work. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and tap that notification bell if you haven't already. Take care everyone, Michael K here.